and here and let us move on to the very main topic here that is just a uh, small topic here you can write just definition if you ask it here now this is the very important topic here beam area here many a times this particular question has been asked in the examination for carrying around uh, six to eight marks here so uh, what uh, what is exactly the beam area or you can say the beam solid angle here here we have a little definition here after that we'll I'll try to explain we'll explain you the figure here what is the definition here the beam area okay okay which is represented by this particular symbol here this is nothing but here uh, uh, your own symbol with the suffix capital a here is a solid angle so what you can define here is uh, uh, it, it is a solid angle here through which all the, the power radiated by the antenna would stream out here if whatever the power is there in the direction of theta and phi okay it, which would be maintained at maximum here okay maximum value or the beam area and elsewhere it is zero here okay that is what is our beam area here means what it is now whatever the power that is been radiated by the particular antenna if we are having the maximum power okay with the only concerned beam area here and all other part of the uh, uh, area here where the power radiated or beam is zero and that particular part where the maximum radiation is there is called as a beam area here okay this is how the definition is we we'll try to understand one by one here okay so now see here this is again the three-dimensional figure has been given here so where we are having uh, or you can see two-dimensional polar coordinates here so what is uh, given in this case is uh, uh, so we are having a polar angle, longitudinal, and uh, we are having a, uh, sorry, a polar angle, theta is nothing but your latitude here, okay, phi is nothing but your azimuth angle, that is nothing but your longitudinal here, okay, so we are having x, okay, then uh, y, z is there here, okay, so what we are trying to do here is we are trying to understand uh, or we are trying to calculate the beam area or this particular sphere here right so this is what is a small elemental area okay which is represented by da here remember capital d and uh, sorry small d and capital a here this is this area okay this area okay we are trying to find this particular area here right so now to find this particular area there are certain parameters here which has been written here Okay, just consider here this is the z axis here okay there is a line here dashed line which is making a theta as an angle here or that we are having a small angle called as a d theta here small change mm -hmm. and if you consider this uh, azimuth angle here this is phi here but with a small uh, uh, length here it is d phi here right so and now we need to find this particular area here area is you already know it is length into breadth here we're trying to identify what is the length of this particular area and what is the uh, uh, width or depth of the particular uh, area here now uh, you area is equal to what you can see here right here is da is nothing but a small elemental area okay which is uh, uh, placed over the uh, sphere here uh, okay now what you have to find out here is area length into breadth here. We have to find the length into breadth here. Right? What is the what is the breadth here? Breadth is nothing but here r z theta is there. Here. R is nothing but here radius of this particular sphere here. Okay, so r into whatever the small angle theta it is making here with respect to this particular x and y here. Right? So that is r d theta here. That distance we have to consider here. Now this distance we have to find out here. That's nothing but here length. How do you find the length here? You already know that it is R D phi here, but it is it is it is making certain angle here. It is sine theta here, right? So that's why R into D theta will be the uh, width here, okay, of that particular uh, small elemental area D A, and the length is nothing but here your R sine theta D phi here. R is nothing but your radius here. D theta small change in the angle theta. D phi small change in the angle phi. Uh, with this r into d phi, this is the length here. With res with that uh, respect here, theta makes an angle of sine theta here. Okay. So now what we can write here is this is r square, sine theta, d theta, and d phi here. 
so this could also be written as r square solid angle here solid angle is nothing but here sin theta d theta t phi here okay this is nothing but here it could be expressed in terms of steradians here or square degree here solid angle subtended by an area da here okay now mm, we wanted to find the area of the sphere how do we find the area of the sphere here right so the area of the uh, strip is there but this is the area of the strip here the strip is there but we wanted to find the area of the strip here this area of the strip is nothing but here you can uh, uh, you already uh, know that uh, we are having a uh, small length of armature small length of uh, sin theta is there here okay sin theta it is making an angle here and it is having the width of how much it is r d theta is there so what is the uh, circular area here 2 pi is there so that's why the strip this strip has area of 2 pi r sin theta r d theta here that's why we are written here 2 pi r sin theta into r d theta here okay integrating this particular theta value from 0 to pi is the area of the sphere here. that's what you are going to do we are trying to integrate this particular 2 pi r uh, uh, into sin theta r r d theta here so 0 to pi sin theta t theta here okay you know this one r square will come outside here and also 2 pi here okay that's a constant term here so at the end we will have the area of the sphere in this particular sphere as 4 pi r square here now where 4 pi is nothing but here it is a solid angle here solid angle subtended by the sphere here which is which unit is steradian here now the beam area another definition we can also consider this also here beam area or a beam solid angle okay of a particular antenna is given by what here integration of the normalized power pattern here for a sphere of four pi steradian here okay? that you can write as a definition also here now how do we write here beam area symbol you know the beam area symbol or beam solid angle symbol here so you know the phi phi is nothing but azimuth angle here which could be varying from 0 to pi theta is nothing but here polar angle which is going to vary from 0 to pi here and hence normalized power pattern is nothing but here p n of theta comma phi here okay into whatever the solid angle we are having here that is sin theta d theta t phi here okay now this can also be further simplified as a 4 pi here steady as we say it is power pattern over a 4 pi, uh, 4 pi steady so you can write it as steady 4 pi here p n this you know right solid angle not a beam there where uh spread angle equal to sin theta d theta d phi here now you can say the definition here that is beam area is a solid angle through which all of the power radiated by the particular antenna put stream out here put a stream out okay so that power should be maximum value here for that particular beam area and was a zero elsewhere here that is how we can mention the definition of the beam area here the power radiated is equal to whatever the power into the beam area is there beam area also can also be represented with the theta hp and phi hp theta hp and phi hp are nothing but here half power the bandwidth here okay right this is how we can define the beam area here so whenever this has been asked for the six to eight months here you have to draw this particular diagram here with all this whatever the theta phi r d phi d theta and whatever the side is there and the length is there here area polar angle uh, latitude longitude azimuth angle all this uh, the, uh, the, uh, 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 the parameters you have to mention the labels you have to mention and then we have to write this all this four to five points here so that you could get the six to eight marks this is how we can understand the beam area beam area is nothing but here where maximum radiation would be transmitting here other areas will be zero here okay. with maximum uh, power will be transmitted with respect to other areas here okay that is what is the beam area here okay now how exactly we are going to define a uh, simple definition is that here regarding the radiation intensity here the power radiated from an antenna per unit solid angle here per triangle solid angle is called as a radiation intensity here okay per unit solid angle here this is also uh, the radiation intensity how much uh, 
the radiation that is generated here is having intensity. Uh, if at all you wanted to calculate here, you have to go ahead with the power radiated from an antenna per unit solid angle here. Okay. okay. Now let us understand the definition here. that is again not definition but the formula which we had having here. They got a normalized power pattern here. So normalized power pattern can be expressed in terms of the ratio of the whatever the radiation intensity is there. Okay, whatever the radiation intensity is there as the function of angle to so its maximum value here. So this is how we can represent the normalized power pattern here. Okay, the radiation uh, intensity to so the maximum radiation intensity will give me the normalized power pattern here. Okay, and where uh, this, this can also be represented with the uh, uh, S here, S into theta comma pi. S into theta comma pi max here. Yeah. This is nothing but here again. It is a power density you can consider here, yeah. or you can consider as a pointing vector that depends on the distance from an antenna here. Yeah. That also you can consider. U is nothing but here again the radiation intensity independent of the distance here. Yeah. So if at all there is a uh, distance is taken into the condition here, then we can represent with the S capital S. If at all there is no distance consideration, then you can go ahead with the representation of the capital U here. Whenever we want to define the normalized power pattern here okay right now uh, beam efficiency what is beam efficiency here nothing but here we are trying to understand now we are trying to measure the performance here that is what is efficiency right okay so uh, we, we are trying to measure the power efficiency here how much power that has been radiated by the particular antenna how much has been received here okay the level of performance we have to judge here so for that one, we are having something called as a beam efficiency here. Okay, the quality of the transmitting and receiving antennas can be judged by the beam efficiency. We need to judge this uh, transmitting and receiving antenna here. Right? So what is the total beam area here? Total beam area consists of uh, the main beam area. Remember again, there are two points here just to mention here. Main beam area and minor lobe area here. Okay, main beam is represented with the capital M here. Okay, that denoted the home symbol and whatever the capital M is there, that is main beam here, and uh, minor beam probe is represented with a small m here. Total beam area is represented by this uh, inverted uh, O with the suffix A here. Okay, so the ratio of the main beam area to the total beam area is called the beam efficiency now. Okay, beam efficiency is nothing but here, the ratio of the total, uh, sorry, uh, main beam area to the total area will give me the beam efficiency here. If at all we consider the minor uh, lobe or minor beam area here to the total beam area, that is nothing but here, stray factor it is called as here. So together, main beam area or efficiency of the main beam area and the efficiency of what, uh, whatever the, you can say, the stray factor of the minor lobe is equal to one here. Okay. So now what is exactly the directivity here to the definition here? The activity of an antenna is nothing but a ratio of whatever the radiation intensity is there in one particular direction here, okay, from the antenna to the radiation intensity average uh, all over the directions here or overall directions here. That a simple definition is there here. That, is, that could also be stated in another form here. The directivity of an antenna is uh, uh, equal to the ratio of uh, the maximum power density that is to the average value for a sphere as observed in the far field of an antenna here okay this is how we can also explain the directivity of a particular antenna here that is nothing but here max power density to the average power density is nothing but here directivity from pattern explanation here or simple definition you can also mention is the ratio of the radiation uh, intensity in a given direction from the antenna to the radiation intensity average over all directions. So this is also both we can mention here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now further, we can what we can do is how about the average power uh, density over a sphere is given by here. Now it is being given one by four pi. Pi is equal to zero to two pi, and theta is equal to zero to pi here. The power is being given same theta d theta d pi here. This could also be represented with this uh, <coughs> one divided by four pi. Uh, then integration four pi uh, p theta uh, theta comma pi 
uh, in whatever the salt angle is there here. Okay. So directive T can also be further simplified, you can write here. In terms of the beam area, we are trying to understand here. Okay. This uh, power uh, theta comma phi average has been written with this equation here. This equation can be substituted uh, in the capital D here. Okay. So this uh, particular uh, this uh, area is nothing but here. That is, uh, we can take the numerator part. Uh, okay. In this directivity equation, that is P theta comma phi max uh, to the uh, denominator here. We can write it here. So if that is the, there here, you know this uh, this equation is nothing but here our beam area here. Okay. So this could also be represented with the beam area here, normal power pattern here, uh, or uh, sphere here. Right. So that is the thing between beam area we are having here. So directivity finally could be written as 4 pi divided by whatever the beam area is there here. Directivity from beam area here. Okay. So this is how we can write the directivity definitions. Remember here, when in the examinations or in the interval here, it will be asked here, like what is exactly or uh, the definition of the directivity from beam area here or from the power pattern here. So if at all they have been asked to represent the directivity in terms of the beam area is, we can use this particular equation as d is equal to 4 pi by beam area here. Okay. So uh, look into the question and answer here. They may ask you from the uh, power pattern, the definition that you can write here, these four lines and this particular equation you can write. If at all they ask you to write the directivity in terms of the beam area, you have to write this particular equation here. D is good for pi divided by whatever the beam area is having here. Okay. Now regarding the gain here. Now the performance of a particular antenna can be can be judged or you can say can be measured by uh, using the gain here. It is the measure that takes into account the efficiency of an antenna as well as the directional capabilities here. Both it is taking uh, into consideration here. Okay, so gain will take both the efficiency and also the direction capabilities of the particular antenna while judging the performance of an antenna here. Now, gain of an antenna, how we can define here? Gain of an antenna is nothing but here, it is a ratio of the whatever the radiation intensity we are having in a one particular direction here towards the radiation intensity that would be obtained here, the power radiated or if uh, power accepted by the antenna where radiated isotropic. I think I have explained you regarding the isotropic. Isotropic is nothing but here. Same radiation pattern or same energy radiating in all the directions here. Right? So what is gain here? Gain is nothing but here. 4 pi to whatever the radiation intensity in one direction to the total input power here. Okay? That would be accepted here. That is nothing but a gain you can define here. Okay. That is 4 pi into uh, the radiation intensity is nothing but mu theta comma pi divided by p in p is the in nothing but total power input here. Okay. Gain gain uh, can also be uh, can also be measured here by comparing the maximum power density of a particular uh, antenna under test here with a reference antenna of a known gain here. This is how we can also write the uh, Gain. gain is equal to maximum power uh, that has been obtained by an antenna under test here to the maximum power of the reference antenna into whatever the gain of the reference antenna is there. Uh, with that also we could get the uh, gain of a particular antenna here can be measured here. You always remember here gain is always less than the directivity here. Antenna gain is related to directivity here. This g is equal to k into d here. K is nothing but here, efficiency um, uh, factor here, internet efficiency factor here that could be less than one here follows. Okay, it takes into account the actual losses that occur here. 